Big YouTube channels use this effect all the time to grab attention. It's called the text match cut, and today I'll teach you how to create it in Adobe Premiere Pro. First things first, we need some screenshots of articles. Head over to Google, type in the word you want to highlight. I will go with Elon Musk as an example. Then click on Google News, open a few pages that mention your word, and just take some screenshots. You can do this for any word you want to highlight in your project. In Premiere Pro, create a new project and import all your screenshots into your timeline. Cut each image down to just four frames long. This way, they'll switch really fast and give you that match cut vibe. For a much more efficient workflow, you can set the duration of all your images at once before even placing them on the timeline. Go to the project panel and select all of your imported screenshots. Once they are all highlighted, right click on the selection and choose speed slash duration from the context menu. In the dialog box that appears, set the duration to four frames and click OK. Now, all your images are preset to the correct length, saving you from having to trim each one individually on the timeline. Next, go up to View in the menu and select Show Ruler. Click on the ruler and drag out vertical and horizontal lines to create a box around the word you want to highlight. For me, that's Elon Musk. Make sure your word fits nicely inside this rectangle, so arrange the size of every screenshot and fit your word. This keeps our focus locked on that word in every shot. Let's add a solid layer under everything. Go to the New Item button, select Color Matte, pick White, and place it below the images in the timeline. Now, let me show you how to create the highlighted effect. For the highlight effect, grab the rectangle tool and draw a shape right over your word. Change the color to yellow. You can choose any color you want. Then, in the Effect Controls panel, set its blending mode to darken. To animate it, drop this shape, and here create a path keyframe. Move this keyframe at the end. Now move back at the first frame. Zoom into your program window and move the shape to the left so it's invisible at the start. This makes it look like the highlight is moving across the word. For extra style, add the rough and edges effect to the shape. Set the border to around 10 to 15. This gives the highlight a nice, rough, organic look. All right, let's nest the sequence again. Select everything, right click, and choose Nest. Next, we'll add some 3D movement. Add an adjustment layer in your timeline to apply basic 3D effect. You can apply it directly to nested sequence, but I like this approach. Apply the basic 3D effect to the nested sequence. Now you can animate it to make your article move in 3D space. In the effect controls panel, add keyframes for swivel and tilt at the first frame. Adjust the angles and value here. These values would be changed for everyone, so arrange it which best for you. Also, create keyframe for position and scale, and arrange it to move at the last frame, and change the swivel and tilt values again. Arrange its position and scale. Once you arrange the positings, you'll get that dynamic rotating look. Finally, to polish this effect even more, let's add shutter sound effect. And that's it. You've just made a super clean, match cut, text and highlight effect. Here is the final result. That's it for today. Make sure to subscribe for more quick and useful tutorials. See you in the next video.